Hey there everyone, channel, and today, as it gonna be any different, it's Montana Day, it just came out, and we're gonna check it out together. Currently, I'm here in Riverton, which is Wyoming, but it's quite close to Montana, so we're starting off from here, and then we're gonna see the border, hopefully, and check out this brand new DLC together. I just loaded in, I just bought the DLC, it came out like 10 minutes ago, so it's... Really, really gonna be my very, very first impression. I, I've, I, I didn't see much of the DLC thus far, honestly. I didn't watch any videos, any gameplay, so it's gonna be a brand new experience for myself. So uh, let's get going. Without further ado, I hope um, the audio is decent. I'm trying out different uh, technique. This time around to record my gameplays because OBS was not being very uh <laughs> OBS was just not uh muting the frame rates that I expected. So we are back with Shadow Play. Hopefully we get stereo this time around. Cause if you enable RTX voice, stereo works. But if you disable it, it doesn't work. It's so confusing. But anyway, let's get driving, shall we? Brand new truck! It's the 57X, if I'm not mistaken, it came out like two days ago. First time checking it out as well, you can check by the mileage. It says eight miles right there. I just bought it. <laughs> Brand new. Also feels amazing to drive, looks great. Like, look at this thing, it's just brilliant. Perfect modeling. Once again, SCS nailing it. And it's pretty cool that it's actually like, um, it came out simultaneously, so that's even more cool. So, um, yeah. It's gonna be quite boring at first because obviously we're not within the DLC area still, but once we get there, it's gonna be pretty, ni pretty nice. Got 300 km to cover. Quite a short one today. Very much unlike yesterday's gameplay, but you know. <laughs> That one was intense. One hour, 45 minutes of video. This one's gonna be shorter. But I do plan though on recording most of the trips, showcasing the cities, and uh, cause I'm doing the event, obviously, the World of Truck event. The, uh, how, how's it called again? Exploring Wyoming? Uh, exploring Montana, I mean. I forgot, Discovering Montana? I completely forgot. What a fuck. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing all the trips on camera hopefully if things go well enough if performance is decent enough because we have with obs it was a, a little frustrating honestly out of frame drops so it, it's going to depend on how it fares with everything but hopefully it's going to be quite a nice ride with no frame drops and then i'm going to be able to record everything so every step of the way on camera and uh, it, it, it's going to be quite fun. So, because, well, you know, when Wyoming came out, I I was really impressed by the quality. Like, it, it, it's their best DLC so far. It was their best DLC so far. And then we have Montana now, which if they follow the, their average standard, it's going to be amazing. Because generally, like, every DLC is a huge step forward. Like, there was never a case when the DLC was worse than the previous one. So, I hope that's still the case with uh, Montana. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the case. It's going to be a decent DLC once again. Because even though I didn't watch gameplays, I did watch a little bit of the stream, the release stream on Twitch earlier today. And it was looking... Ooh. Pretty neat. Pretty nifty. Speed limits. Kind of cursed. Oh, I, I discovered a new viewpoint. Nice area over here. I don't remember driving here before. I don't think I've ever been. Looks great. I wonder... No, it, it, could, it cannot be because it's not... It's not close enough to the border. I was wondering whether it was the new DLC area already, but it can't be because... It's uh, it's close to the border, but it's not like very very close. Like a couple days ago, I, I took a job to Riverton, and then I, I decided I would just sit here 
until the DLC came out because it was closed, but not like very close, awfully close to the point it would be a 10 minute thing. So we could actually talk a little bit more and stuff and enjoy the ride a little bit more because short rides are not as enjoyable, if you know what I mean, if you catch my drift. But yeah. Also, strangely enough, I'm having an, uh, an issue with my steering wheel on American Truck Sim. It doesn't seem to be matching the steering angles like one to one for some reason like uh, uh, up until a certain point it kind of does but once you get past like let me uh, let me actually show once we stop at a, a, a red light I'm gonna show you guys what I mean it's so strange I, I do not know what's going on Termopolis that's a weird name nice city though very nice so no red lights, so it seems mm, that's gonna be I'm gonna remember to demonstrate the issue. I'm gonna end up forgetting. I know myself. Oh no, frame drops. Thankfully just tiny ones. If it were OBS, we would be so stuttering right now, like hundred percent guaranteed stutters. Oh my god. I, I just I did the new DLC areas in general. I mean not only Montana which we're yet to see but Wyoming, Colorado, and so on. It looks so cool. Like, uh, it's just, uh, wow. It's refreshing, honestly, driving an American truck compared to, like, your truck. Even though it, it looks great as well, like, the recent ones obviously are fantastic. But if you consider, like, some parts of the map, like the older ones, it's just uh, not as exciting, you know what I mean? Thankfully, they're reworking it at a reasonable rate. Like, we got Austria now, which looks fantastic. Hopefully they rework Netherlands as well at one point. Because it's quite small. I don't see why they don't re- Oh, I forgot it. Red light, and I didn't demonstrate my steering wheel issue. But, yeah. And I forgot to install the dashboard mod. Because someone made a mod for the for this specific dashboard, which, which is also shared with the Cascadia. So I assume the mod should work with this one as well. And it adds like more information so it's closer to real life. Not like it matters much, but you know, it's that extra thing that it's quite cool. It's a nice to have. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we were back on the X11 here as well. No more Vulcan for the time being. Hopefully it doesn't <laughs> punish us. You know what I mean? I mean, if you know, you know why I had to switch to Vulcan but now we're back taking the risk you know if whatever happens happens at this point man's gotta man's gotta have proper performance for recording his Vulcan it, it was okay for like just playing by myself without recording but once I turned the camera on quote unquote it was just terrible Terrible, terrible, terrible. It doesn't like like anything. OBS, Shadow Play. OBS is even worse. Like it goes from 60 to like 10 FPS for some reason. I don't know why. And it's just with uh, Vulcan. It's under under the X11 doesn't happen. I mean, it doesn't perform nicely with OBS regardless. But it's not like you know 60 frames to 10. It's not the case at all. But very well. Look at this area. It's so cool. I love. Uh, the newer areas there is so fucking oops excuse the bad word I shouldn't you know PG 13 gotta remember that but yeah it's it, it's just fantastic I love it it reminds me it reminds me a lot of like Red Dead Redemption for obvious reasons I mean it's inspired around this area uh, partially and, and also a little bit of the south Damn, does it look great. Far Cry 5 as well in Montana, as we're getting there. Gonna, gonna look very familiar. Let's we make our way. Let's we plot along. Ah, I just realized. Oh, actually, I don't need to look at the mirrors, because I got the, <laughs> the, the hood mirrors, which are also pretty cool. Bonnet mirrors, whatever you want to call them. They're very, very handy. Look at that. Quite a nice angle as well. Yet should, oh, on that mirror note, I heard that the 57X, I saw on Reddit, didn't actually hear, saw on Reddit that it does have a blind spot detector, which is pretty cool. It lights up 
when there's something uh, near, I mean, hiding on your blind spot. So it lights like a, it's a green light or something. It should make a, it should beep, but a light uh, does the trick, I guess. Which is pretty dope. I wonder if my mirror has that. Because I picked the simple one. Cheaper one. Because I like... For some reason I do prefer... I have this tendency to prefer... Uh, stock looking trucks in a way. You know, full plastic and stuff. They just look more... You know. I don't know. It's just my, my, my preference in general. Like a fleet truck in a, in a sense. More than anything. Oh, what a cozy city. Nice. We have traffic. I should... Oh, I didn't, I didn't notice the, <laughs> the red light. I didn't even, I didn't even see there was a traffic light there. Oh my God. That was, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Well, not quite the start I was looking for. And yes, we are having raindrops. Just uh, tiny ones though, thankfully. It's just a wee bit of a frame drop which is not that bad I guess compared to like yesterday where we had actual full-fledged frame drops which was not fun but it is what it is it happens and there's just no stopping it I guess it's it's part of life you know what I mean it's uh, I mean if I upgrade it, that wouldn't be the case, obviously, but given the current situation, it is what it is. Uh, let's stick this right turn. Alrighty. I think I'm still maxing out ATS, 400% scaling, all ultra. The only one I'm not maxing out anymore is ETS2 because I forgot to change back to 400%. I'm running 300% completely forgot because during Vulcan I, I, I had like mad stutters and then I assumed that reducing the scaling would actually give back the performance that I had lost but it didn't it didn't change at all <laughs> so I just gave up on Vulcan out together it was fun for daytime it was fine but nighttime was just terrible actually terrible unplayable even are we getting there boys not too much to go now until we can finally see Montana. Gonna be great. Gonna be great. And then I'm already... Once I, once I stop there and deliver, I'm definitely picking up another load and recording another video for tomorrow. Maybe even later today, who knows. Gotta keep the machine flowing, you know what I mean? It's important. I really want to try and be more active on YouTube, like I said. More and more gameplays. We getting there, boys? We getting there. Speed limit. No, 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 no. 72. What do we have here? And I forgot once again to demonstrate my steering wheel issue. Oh, we got... That's a brand new city for me ever been here. Yeah. All the roads are unexplored. Looks small at a glance. Ooh, the sky texture is really nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, red light. If it doesn't turn green, I'm gonna... Oh yeah, it, d it did turn green, so it's not this time. Maybe next time. But yeah, this is very odd. There's a little bit of that zone even on the steering wheel. Like that that doesn't happen with ATS2. And it's weird because I'm running stock settings on on both. So why is that happening? If the settings are the same across both sim simulators, I, I, I even if I'm not mistaken, I remember like back when I installed them on my PC, I kinda just copied over the the uh, control settings. So it shouldn't be happening yet it is happening. Confusing. Very confusing. Oh, the lighting is so brilliant. Just look at that. Quite a reward. After quite a long, tiresome trip. Not really. 
300 km. That was child's play. I'm gonna be driving a lot today, definitely. Now I'm missing this opportunity at all. Brand new. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. So we made it into Montana, didn't we? Because it's already. They want me to. Oh. Okay, let's, let's get in. Stop the truck scale. And activate that icon. Okay. Is this Montana already or not? I'm confused. Port of entry for any. Wyoming. No, it is not. Huh. Okay, 39 tons. We're heavy, but not very heavy. We're just, you know. Packing yet? Not really. Okay, let's see. Is there any traffic? Is there any traffic? Nope, there is no traffic. Let's go. Let's get going. 24 degrees, quite the nice temperature. Oh, come on, mate. Come on. Okay, there you go. Okie dokie, let's keep going. That was fun. Okay, so now we're in Montana, ain't we? That, that, that's our flag, isn't it? I hope that's our flag. Otherwise, I <laughs> pretend I didn't say anything. If that's not the case, but I think it is. Yes, it is. Look at that. Montana, baby! Oh, the vegetation already looks so much better. They always step your game up. Look at that. Look at that. It was, ooh, la la. Really. Good stuff. Good stuff, Oliver. Oh, yes. That's, that's what I've been waiting for. So long. Okie dokie. Oh, look at that. Sky. Quite the skybox. I wonder, did they still use skybox textures or it, or is it dynamic now? Mm. 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 Makes one wonder. Oh, it's getting dark already. Ever so slightly. Yeah, you gotta be careful. It's the speed limit. We don't want to get fine once again. Because, you know, once is enough. Once is the charm. <laughs> Don't want to keep getting fined. Wow, Dust Vale restaurant. Nice. So, okie dokie. Oh my God, it's real. Look at that. The clutter is just right, you know. The amount of clutter they put in. You've really gotten very good at this. Very, very good at map making. Commendable. Honestly, very nice. Ooh, baby. 35 km to go. And there is a city down there, I think. Or a village. Maybe a farm. <laughs> that looks a lot like Montana. I mean, obviously, it's the point. It's exactly what they want to represent. Indeed. I feel like it's Far Cry 5. <laughs> You're just missing the the weird uh, religious guys from the from the game, and it would be Far Cry 5, basically. Yellowstone River, hello! Look at that nice uh, train bridge over there. Oh no, night lights. My frames, Laurel, Yanni or Laurel? That's the question. The ever lingering question. Yanni or Laura? Do you guys remember that? <laughs> From a few years ago, before, you know, before the storm, when life was still simple and easy. When we still had hope. I'm kidding. But yeah, uh, good old days, isn't it? Good old days. Shame it's not the same anymore. Alrighty. Oh my god. My frames are just dying. I hope it's not too noticeable on on a recording. I really hope it's not the case. Should have you know gone for a, a morning departure instead. 
but thankfully we're nearly there, so it's not gonna be much of a problem. Yeah, first Montana trip. Ah, dear God. Come on. Parking this thing is gonna be interesting with my wheel being so weird. Um, I still wonder what is going on with steering wheel, honestly. Ah, I will never get used to it. Probably just reset up it uh, at some point. Can be bothered though. See how all the bindings and stuff. Ah, remember all of them. Remap. Nah, 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 nah. Can't stick. All right, turn. Welcome to Laurel. Oh, that was quite the frame drop right there. Oh my God. Jesus. I didn't notice. I didn't see that. It didn't happen. No, 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 no. Perfect 60 FPS gameplay. No frame drops. No, 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 no. Oh God, it's terrible. My frames. Yeah, it seems like 400% doesn't work anymore for me it's time to say goodbye it's time to part ways 400 percent go back to maybe 300 maybe even 200 oh god it is what it is okie dokie let's get this thing parked ever so gently hello okay wow, wow there's no option to do the challenging one where should i place it okay let's place it there i hope i can do uh, at least like this much if I can't, that would be very concerning. Oh my god, it feels like I'm not gonna get this right now. Please. Oh dear god. No. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe I just should move a little bit more. Nope. Ah, this is not working. Well, oh, okay. That was the spot. Ah. Come on. It was green for like half a second. Now it's not. Okay, I know what you do. Let's just uh, obviously do the uh, the logical thing. And uh, no, I don't want to auto park. Don't need that. I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe I will need auto park because my truck is being weird. Mm, come on. Let's get it to line up there. Ah, it's there. Why I just can't. Ah, forget about it. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I'm not used to this kind of trailer at all. Please, 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 please. Ah. <laughs> this video is gonna be like a. Uh, I never mind. I give up. I give up for now. I failed, you guys this trailer but there we go the first job is over and done with i hope you guys enjoyed this short gameplay i'm going to be uh recording more videos today maybe there's going to be a second video later on today with another trip uh what are your opinions on montana so far what did you think of it comment sections right down below don't be shy and i see you guys in the next one bye bye